Kia ora e tafana. No mai, hari mai. Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome to this first video in our series, Finding Your Way Around Far North Maps, to help you get the most out of our new Far North Maps. My name is Jeanette, and I am the GIS Analyst at the Far North District Council, or FNDC. You can access Far North Maps from the FNDC website by going to the menu, selecting the Our Services option, and scrolling down to Maps or Online Maps. On the landing page, you will see there are a number of maps with different themes. Each map has a brief description. To open, simply click on the tile. Give the map a few moments to open and display properly. Some maps, like the district plan and water services, have a lot of data, so will take quite a bit longer to load. When the map opens, you can zoom in and out, just like with Google, with your mouse scroll or with the plus and minus buttons. And you can pan, click left mouse button and drag around. You will notice that if you zoom out too far, the features on the map disappear, just like in Google Maps. This search option enables you to use address, legal description, title, or valuation number to find a location. Keep this all option as the selected one, and you can simply start typing in the valuation number, and the options come up. You can use address, and options appear. Let's try a legal description. And let's try a certificate of title for the options that appear. Another option I want to show you is our pop-ups. Let's scroll in a bit closer so we don't have quite so much on our map. Click on one of these icons and a pop-up appears. You'll see in this green bar it says one of three. Click through the arrows. And it shows you the information about this point. At the bottom of the pop-up, there are three dots or an ellipsis. Click on this, select the view in attribute table, and the data that's in the pop-up is shown in the table. If you, This is the historic sites layer, so if you want to see all the historic sites in the district plan, you'll notice there are 183. That may be more than you wanted to see, so you can filter by map extent, so you only see the historic sites that are in this area, six features. You can also export this information using export all to CSV, and then when you've exported it, you can open it in an Excel file. can close the table by clicking on this down arrow and open again using that same down arrow and using the various table options there may be. On the right hand side of the page there are a couple of widgets. These widgets are to help you navigate and explore the maps. The about widget, this icon over here, is where you will find more information about the map. Some may have external links or links to other parts of the FNDC website. The next widget is the map layers. This controls what is displayed on the map. The hamburger with this tick is the control all layers button. You can turn all layers off, all layers on, or you can turn layers on and off individually. 
You can also expand layers by clicking on the name. The Layers widget is particularly useful when there's really a lot of information displayed on the map. You can unselect all of the layers and then add them back one by one or only view them one at a time. And as far as the zooming out too far, you will notice that the text grays out. So if you come across a map layer with grayed out text, you know you've zoomed out too far. This legend widget shows you the act symbols that are active in this map. You will see the unticked items are not showing. So I'll turn all layers on. And you'll notice a longer list in the legend. Be aware that the topmost layer is just Collapse all layers. Um, displays on top of all the other layers. Let me zoom in a little bit. And the bottom layer is underneath all the other layers. To demonstrate, I'll flick over to the far north district plan. If I switch on the district plan zones, notice how they cover all the other symbols underneath this layer. There's a transparency option, and you can set the transparency of the layer so that you can see what's going on underneath. Or you can move the layer down in the hierarchy, as it were, until the other symbols appear. Or you can just simply turn off that layer if you want to see what's going on. Sometimes it is helpful to have aerial imagery as the base map. The base map gallery has a couple of options. Amongst them, the aerial imagery. After all that, let's get back to the home extent, just to re reorientate ourselves. The rest of the widgets will be demonstrated in the next videos in finding your way around Far North Maps. Thank you for watching. Tēnā koe i mata ki mai, noho ora mai.